Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Aina Afifa Bidusli Di 2019 2090992 Today I will be making a delicious main course uh, That is chicken roulette With shallot velouté sauce And parsley potato Okay it sounds so delicious right Okay do you know Do you want to know how I make it So let's spin up Okay, first this is uh, the ingredient that we have today. Okay, next this is the kitchen utensils and the tools. And also our recipe for today. Okay, first of all, uh, we have to prepare the cream of uh, spinach first. Okay, first we put the butter into the pot and melt it like this. And then after our butter has melted, uh, we put our spinach uh, inside of the pot so that uh, our spinach cook uh, perfectly. Okay, we must make sure our spinach uh, cook evenly and become soft so that when we put it inside the chicken, uh, it can be easily uh, rolled with it. Okay, cook the spinach for about like 2 until uh, 3 minutes until all the butter has been absorbed into the spinach. And after that, uh, take your spinach out from the pot and then we can move uh, into making the cream. Okay, to make the cream of spinach, first we must put um, the butter inside it like this and we melt it. The butter will give the cream some uh, creamier and uh, tasty taste uh, into it. Then, uh, put your onions and garlic into the butter. And just uh, stir it like this until the onion and the garlic all cook together. Cook the onion like about 2 minutes And then put our flour into the pot like this Okay, uh, the flour is function to make the cream uh, become thicker And not so uh, liquidified Okay, after that we put uh, our milk into the pot Little by little and we stir it with the flour together Then put the rest of your meat into the pot and um, if the cream is uh, too thick, you can put it uh, more meat into the pot. I put some black pepper and salt into the cream to give the cream some uh, taste into it so that it becomes delicious and tasty. I also uh, put uh, a slice of cheese into it just to give the cream of spinach uh, a more delicious taste. Okay, as you can see, our cream has become thicker, so we can put our spinach into it and just stir it again. Okay, stir the spinach uh, with the cream so that the flavor uh, of the spinach and the cream will be uh, mixed together. Okay, uh, to make the grilled chicken, first we take a breast of chicken and then we slice it like this. Okay, make sure when you slice it, uh, do not slice until uh, the chicken has been cut uh, until the end, uh, just like this. And then we wrap uh, the plastic wrap on top of the chicken like this. And 
and then put your roly pin and uh, knock the chicken until the chicken uh, become flat like this. Uh, knock, knock, knock like this. Uh. Then uh, when you see the chicken has flat, uh, put like a good amount of salt uh, onto the chicken and just pat pat it like this. And then put also your black pepper to give the chicken uh, more delicious taste to it. Uh, put it on the back also. And then I uh, put um, the, a slice of cheese on the center of the chicken. After that, I uh, put a little bit quantity of spinach only. Do not put it too much because uh, it will make uh, the chicken hard to be rolled. And after that, uh, roll your chicken like this. Make sure when you roll the chicken, uh, your finger must tuck the chicken inside the chicken uh, when you roll it. Next, after that, wrap your uh, chicken tightly like this. And then you can put inside the freezer and leave it about uh, one day. Okay, next we move uh, to our second menu that is parsley potato. You first boil your potato inside the pot and put... Uh, a great amount of salt like this and stir the potato okay make sure you boil your potato until the your potato has soft and then you can uh, sift it take the water out and then put your potatoes inside uh, the pot and heat it okay this is to make sure your potato is dry uh, before you can cook uh, your parsley potato Okay, make sure uh, you stir the potato like about 5 minutes until all the moistness has been uh, absorbed and dried and then put it onto the plate like this then heat your pan and put a slice of butter like this and then put your potatoes and stir the potatoes uh, with the butter so that uh, the butter is being absorbed into the potatoes to give the potato some taste, put uh, our parsley into the potato and stir it like this again. The parsley will give some pungent taste to the potato. Uh, it will give uh, the potato uh, more tasty and delicious taste. Okay, make sure you put a pinch of salt to your potato so that uh, your potato does not uh, taste tasteless. Cook your potato until it becomes like a bit brownish, golden brownish, and then you can uh, take it out and put it uh, inside the plate. Okay, after uh, you have left your chicken like about overnight, and then you can uh, boil your chicken like this. Okay, make sure before you boil the chicken, wrap the chicken with two plastic, and then put inside the pot. And then like about 12 to 20 minutes, uh, cook the chicken until it becomes like this. Uh, to make sure it cook enough. And then heat your pan and put some butter uh, onto the pan. And put your chicken inside the pan. And cook your chicken until your chicken has become a bit uh, yellowish and brownish. Okay, make sure when you cook the chicken, cook the chicken until it's become golden and brownish. And then you must flip um, the chicken so that both sides of the chicken uh, will cook and have the color on it. Next, take out your chicken and let it cool down for about 5 minutes. Okay, after it has cooled down a little bit, cut your chicken evenly like this. Uh, as you can see, uh, our chicken is firm and does not crush. Uh, 
Okay then cut the chicken until all finish Okay this is as the garnish First we saute the um, shiitake mushroom Like this Make sure uh, our mushroom does not uh, cook too long because it will burn the mushroom Next, I also saute my diced tomato as a garnish uh, so that when I decorate my plate, uh, the plate will become beautiful and more colorful. Okay, next to make the veloti sauce, uh, first I put uh, 3 tablespoons of butter and melt it like this. And then after it has melt, I put uh, 3 tablespoons of flour. Okay, the ratio must be like about 1 to 1 to make the uh, velote sauce. Then I stir it. Okay, after he has mixed uh, very well, like this, I put 3 cups of chicken stock into the veloti sauce and then stir it like this. Stir it slowly by slowly. Okay, uh, if you look at your sauce and it becomes uh, too thick, you can add more chicken stock in it and stir again. Next, I also like about like one cup of meat, and after that, I also put a uh, shallot into the sauce. Well, as you can see, uh, our sauce become more soft and more creamier. Okay, first uh, I take a tomato sauce and cross it like this onto my plate. Next, I take my chicken roulette and arrange it like this. Uh, and then I put my uh, parsley potato beside the chicken roulette like this. And also at the center of my plate. I also put uh, my tomato besides the parsley potato to give uh, the color to my plate. Ah. Well, as you can see, our plates become a bit more colorful when I add uh, yellow and red elements onto my plate. Okay, to add uh, the plate more beautiful, I add my uh, mushroom that I have been sauté onto the plate and put it beside my chicken roulette like this. And lastly, I decorate my chicken roulette and put the shallow velouté sauce on top of the chicken roulette like this. Uh. Okay, next I put uh, some baby spinach uh, besides on the chicken to give some green elements onto the plate and also uh, garnish with some black pepper like this and then voila, it has done! Okay, this is our result for chicken roulette. Wow, it looks delicious, right? Okay.
Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Bye.